Today, um, I would not be doing reaction videos to, to music videos. I'll be doing a reaction to Asa Brocky answering 18 questions from Rihanna. And I would also be doing Rihanna answering 18 questions from Asa Brocky. Man, I actually like, like, I love Asa Brocky. Like, I love the way he dresses. I love his swag. Like, he's on a 100. I love his music. And his hair. Yes, I love his hair. And the queen herself. Oh, no. <laughs> Rihanna, man. I actually love Rihanna. Like, but in as much as I love Rihanna, I'm actually pissed at Rihanna. Why? She hasn't dropped no album yet, bruh. In like, couple of couple of months, Rihanna hasn't dropped no songs. She hasn't dropped no albums. I don't know if I'm correct, but she hasn't dropped no songs. Yes, I think. We've been expecting a song or an album from Rihanna. Rihanna keeps doing this to us. She's all about the fancy beauty, whatever, man. We we drop an album for us, please. Like, we need an album, man. So bad, so bad. So let's just watch this and, and react. And no, it's up answers to the same questions. Rihanna will be asking me. Peace. And um, don't forget subscribe and like. Tell your friends. Tell everyone. We're going. We're going. 100, we're going to 100, we're going to 1000, you know, so, let's watch. What is your skin type? Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. You said handsome, are you kidding me? <laughs> See the look on Rihanna's face. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Really, who says that? I was not, I was not even expecting that. Like, oh, your skin type. Okay, this. But then, myself was like, and so. If you ask me, what's my skin type? I'll tell you. And so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, GQ, it's Rihanna, and I'm going face to face with Asa. Rocky. Rocky. Alright, ring, 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 ring. What's up, Riri? <laughs> What's up, Rocky? Okay, so this is actually Vitro. This is this is Vitro. I think probably the whole Corona, or probably they're not even at the same place at the same time. But this is actually nice, man. The the world has actually evolved from the whole physical meetings and physical conversations. The world has evolved to everything being done online. Online. If I'm trying to link up or interview someone. Going to do that online, zero stress, man, zero worries. All I need is what? Let's get my laptop, get my internet, and boom, I got my interview done. So, this version, enjoy. It's a brokey and Rihanna. Boom. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm chilling. Chilling like I knew. <laughs> it's your business. I just wanted to see this thing. It means so much in four letters. What did he say? No, we didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't actually hear that. That was just beep. I just want to say this oh. thing. It means so much in four letters. Yeah. But it's also it can mean like, really it can, it, can, it can mean like, 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 I don't actually have to say that. So, you know, you actually know the word. So, I don't have to say it, but, mm. Yes, I don't have to say it. But, you know, I just like drop my, you know, my glass of juice or like. Yeah, it could mean that. It could also mean that. True, but I like better. <laughs> <laughs> like, when you was like, shh. Like, uh, like, yes, a food that you would never eat under any circumstance. Shit. I just want to say an intestine of any animal. Like that's just like, come on, that's no bueno. Like I want to say celery, and then I was like, nah, I can get through that. My life. I don't know no celery or celery. I don't know. Right here in Nigeria, I eat, I eat eba. Yes, <laughs> I do eba. I do.
probably that probably do amala yes so i don't know no celery i don't know no bruno i don't know no anything so let's enjoy I don't know. I'm with you. Unless it's good for your skin. Agreed, agreed. What's the hardest part about working with me? I think the hardest part about working with you is not goofing off and laughing the whole time. Like, it's, it's comedy. That's the hardest part. You know? you such people. you so cool. It's just hard not to not to laugh. That's all. But it was fun. The hardest part is not having too much fun. You just forget that it's... She doesn't really laugh. What is your self care routine and how do you take care of yourself? Don't say I'm so. My self care routine would be showering, taking care of my skin, okay. exfoliating, moisturizing, just cleansing myself, okay. grooming, trimming. Anytime I could. You know, it's a pandemic right now, so I've been chilling on all that, but for the most part. Always chilling. So, <laughs> when you discover skincare, you were how old? Probably like 14, 15. What's the first product you bought? Like, was it a moisturizer or like a, a face wash? Yeah, my first time really getting introduced to like the skincare platform. I think I was like younger and it was through like a, a rinse. I seen my mother had it in the drawer. So, like, like a cleanser? Yeah, it was like a cleanser. It was cool. That was like, that that was awesome. tight. That's like for everyone, like a cleanser. What's your last purchase on the twenty dollars? Wait. <laughs> you had to say condos. What's your last purchase on the twenty dollars? Condoms. A T-shirt. I bought a T-shirt for like. Eleven dollars. Oh. It was tight. I came up on it. Yeah. Where does ASAP buy it? Yeah, so I was even expecting that, like, you're like eleven dollars. But it's always a swag, you know. It's got a swag. T-shirt for eleven dollars. I'll take a free T-shirt. My favorite price is three ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. What is your skin type? Um, Not again. <laughs> So is that like a oiliness? <laughs> <laughs> or is it like a sensitive? And um, it's a handsome, handsome man. You know, you know. handsome, handsome. All right. So is your skin ashy, dry, oily, oh, shit. or sensitive. sensitive? I would say I have very sensitive skin. Sure. So do you usually get like uh, really cautious about using certain products and stuff like that when it comes to your skin since it's so sensitive? Yeah, yeah for sure. You know, stuff that's just like too much alcohol based and all, you know, like way too much chemicals, you know, that will break you out and be worse, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it was just like I had to discover your own face cleansing okay. and skin care all at the same time. No desire again, no desire again. Okay. Okay. Well, 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 again so Advertising on YouTube helps me reach engaged customers like Jenna, who's been searching for landscapers on Google. So. Okay, so who's like the first person that you looked up to in terms of skincare in regards to like a man? Skincare is like weird to say that about, but like, who do you look at and yeah. try to just emulate? Their skincare regimens personally. No man. No man, really, right? Nah. Yes. Unfortunately, I, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, let me ask you something. Like, you know how we find out as we get older, like, girls love men with, like, manicures and pedicures and stuff like that. <laughs> for real, for real. Is skincare a big thing with, when it comes to women? I mean, women always love men with good skin. I mean, come on. But as much as you guys think about your your nails and your skin, we think about that too. We, we look at that. Mm -hmm. We enjoy men that take care of their skin, their nails, because it says a lot about like how they'll take care of themselves and the people around them. So of course, it's a big deal for us. Men out there, hope you're always learning. Hope you're always learning.
Is he a big dude? Yeah, so so I guess he does reflect a lot about your personality. Or Especially in my household, my mother, my brothers could not have their nails at a certain length. They had to be clean, they had to be short, they had to be filed. My mother was that kind of woman, so like I, I think I've kind of adopted that point of view from her. You always actually understanding little about Rihanna and her growing up. So I think this is more reason why you should subscribe to my channel. This is more reason why you should subscribe to my channel. You're you're trying to you're actually getting more understanding on on the queen, on the queen, you know. So subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> what was your first red carpet? It was MTV. MTV. Straight off the yeah. bat with that? Yeah, my first red carpet was MTV. Yeah. I know what I had on. I can tell you what I had on. No, I don't need to hear it. it. You could describe it okay, as, okay, okay, as okay. I'm seeing it. No, no, no. It was BET. <laughs> it was BET, I think. It was the BET Awards. It wasn't. I, I see I confused it for that year when we. Nah, it was, so it was a month before BET, the first red carpet. Oh my God. Is this your first red carpet? Black, black. Like, yeah, so I had yeah. right there the Hermes belt on. I had the wraps in the front. Like, no, you don't have to put on the Hermes or Rash. This is you. <laughs> <laughs> the black still had on with the belt. Nah, just stop trying to make it so dope. This is you. You know it. You know what I'm saying? Look at that handsome fella. That's right. Yeah, that's oh, me. Know. Check me out. You could have used some fancy skin back then. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. <laughs> and that's the reason why she hasn't been dropping no songs for her for her that's the reason why she hasn't been, she hasn't been dropping no videos for her like no how but like for real Rihanna like for real Fenty oh man but hopefully hopefully she does hopefully what's your favorite offer of me I ain't gonna lie my favorite outfit of you the red carpet at the British Fashion Awards what? earlier this year Really? I ain't gonna lie, I like that look. Like, like ever? Look. Like of all of my red carpets or like videos, that that? That's my that's one of my favorite looks. Damn. Yeah. What? You ain't like that one? No, I love that look. I'm just like I'm shocked that that's what he was saying. It's not like rap or like great. Nah, it was fire. High tops or low tops? It's gonna have to be high tops. High, high tops for me. What's your favorite show to watch on TV? I watch everything, man. That's a complex question for a complicated guy. I watch everything. <laughs> really complicated. I like, I like to watch cartoons. For the real? It is. Mm. The older the better. Vintage cartoons. That's my vibe. I can binge watching. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> What's your favorite vintage cartoons to watch? Like Popeye the Sailor Man, Scooby Doo, obviously the Jetson. But then chill, chill, chill. Am I like the only one who doesn't do cartoons no more? Like I don't know. Like Aesop still watches cartoons. And it feels like like right now it feels like everyone in the world literally watch cartoons and I'm like the only odd one out. I truly need to know if I'm the only odd one out, so I'll try to fix up some things. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sins, banana splits, wait till he probably gets home. Betty Boop, you know, stuff like that, but we can't give the sauce away too much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Betty Boop. <laughs> Betty Boop, so far. She's so far. How do you stay mentally and inspirationally aligned? I think for me, I'm just more of a people person, you know? To stay mentally and inspirationally in line, I think it, it kind of takes, it starts with the mental. I think you gotta be in a good mental space to even allow yourself to be inspired, you know, because it's all about like what you said. You got to allow things into your universal world, your space. You know? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's kind of deep. Nah, me and you saying the same, but you know. No, you that's know. actually better asking them. Like, can I just like, can I redo it? Like, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, man. So like, I just try to keep the mental capacity to stay inspired. Not yeah. Yeah. Stay inspired, not to be influenced. That's why I didn't say I was going to start watching cartoons too. 
and I also keep staying inspired, not getting influenced. So I will just keep dropping more reaction videos. That's what I do. It's what I do. I need to get more inspiration. So I would keep dropping more reaction videos. So y'all, y'all stay on my channel. Y'all stay like, subscribe, watch, tell people. Oh, let's continue. So what's your favorite product so far from the Fancy Skincare line? Oh, for I'm going to have to go with the moisturizer. This invisible moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I love it. I ain't even going to lie. The mechanism is crazy. It's different. And it smells good, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Put it all over your hands. You can't be having no dry hands soaking in nobody. You know what I mean? I'll be yeah. ashy in between your knuckles and all that. That ain't the vibe for it. When it comes to skincare, what are you packing your travel bag? When it comes to skincare, I pack mostly moisturizers, a little bit of face soap. Uh, yeah, that's really it. I don't really do much toners and stuff when I'm traveling. Really, face wipes too. I don't really take much. What do you wish more people were talking about in the beauty industry? What do I wish more people would talk about in the beauty industry? Nice glasses. I would have to say I, I wish that it was more versatility, diversity, obviously, you know, I think it's kind of trying to evolve, especially with a person like yourself and what you're doing in, amongst the beauty industry. But I do wish that not that much the music industry. There was way more, you know, versatility throughout it all. Okay, I, the music I feel industry. like everything is very old fashioned and kind of stuck to the old blueprint. As Tommy Bob, so does you know, Honestly, thank you so much for even being a part of this conversation where we could discuss openly skincare for for men, for women, for non-binary. We just think everyone with skin deserves to have great skin and I appreciate you yeah. being a part of this conversation. So Yo, you're more than welcome. The pleasure is all mine. I want to say thank you for you know supporting me at a time. Just came home from jail. Thank you for identifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that was of Sweden. I think I think did, did, did he go to prison there? I don't know. But I think I think he had an issues when he went to when he traveled to Sweden. You could just check that out. I'm my beauty as a man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate it. Like like for real for real, you know. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, shout out to GQ. Thank you so much for being involved in this conversation. Give me Rocky and I face to face. This was tight. Thank you so much. Mwah. All right, y'all. If y'all want to see the table sir, go to Vogue.com to see me ask Rihanna all these questions face to face. So, if y'all want to see the table sir, check out my next video. Rihanna. I need some Rocky. Like I said earlier. So, subscribe. 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 So, I hope you all enjoyed that video, man. It's actually cool and it's way different from what, what I've been doing and what we've been doing for like for like two, three weeks now. So, I hope you all enjoyed this and more to come, more to come, more to come. God bless. I'll be dropping the next one like today or tomorrow if I'll be less busy. Like I said, I'm always busy, you know, so don't blame me. But I just have to keep doing this for everyone. So, peace. God bless everyone. Boom. Y'all know. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs>